Thank you for joining me today for my first SoulWorks meditation inside the new building in Pee Wee Valley. As you can see, construction is just in the initial phases. My intention by starting these meditations in the freezing cold <laughs> is uh, to pick up some momentum and energy flow for the project and also for all of you to share in this wonderful transformation with me. It is such an honor and privilege to be in this space, to have this space, and to be able to shape the way that the energy runs and how it is presented to the community. So I'm super excited that you can share in that with me today for uh, meditation number one. Today we are going to be focusing on creating and shaping your reality. It's extremely important to have three energetic principles in place when you're trying to create something for yourself. So I'm going to talk about that and then I'm going to share in a little bit of information on energy work and how it works. And then we're going to go into a guided meditation with a period of silence. Afterwards, we're going to wrap up with uh, just some debriefing and I'm going to talk to you about some of the experiences that you may have had during the meditation. We are always here to support you. So let's begin. I would like everyone to begin by uh, just taking a deep breath in through the nose, holding in the lungs and exhaling out through the mouth. This may be a little different for those who are well versed in yoga. In yoga, they really talk about bringing the breath down into the abdomen and the diaphragm, really focusing on that solar plexus. I really, uh, encourage you to do something a little different for blue mist healing, but do what is most comfortable for you, for sure. When I look at the energy body, I see the uh, heart as the gateway of exchange between our lower energies and our upper energies. Lower being our earth energies, upper being our spiritual energies. The gateway or the keeper is our love. So by guiding energy into our chest, we are stimulating all the energies, lower and upper. So I recommend that you breathe in through the nose, hold in the chest, then release out through the mouth. The most important thing, however, is for you to do what is most comfortable for you. Number one rule in energy healing. So let's begin. Uh, I would like everyone to uh, think about what it is that you want for you, for your life. What is it that really, uh, when you wake up in the morning, what do you wanna get excited about? What do you want to do? Who do you wanna be? So let's all just take a moment, we're breathing, and we're thinking about what we would like for ourselves. Maybe we have what we have, what we already want for ourselves, and that's okay too. But you're just wanting to really grab on to either strengthening what you have or creating something new for yourself. So let's just take a few minutes to do that, breathing. Okay, perfect. Now as you've connected with that flow and essence and also with your conscious thinking about it, let's talk about three principles. Now this is just an aside and not terribly important. However, it is 12 degrees here and we have just had an ice storm and there is snow on the ground. There is currently no utilities in the building. So from time to time, you might see some fog coming from my uh, mouth we're going to assume that it's actually not because I'm freezing, but rather it's the blue mist coming through me out into the world. That was an unimportant aside, but I thought I would include it anyways. So let's go back to the three principles. Now that you've collected with your essence and also had a little bit of a chuckle, hopefully, let's see what that means. You can feel this flow, you can think about it. How do you grab onto that and create movement with it. That's the important thing. We can know things that we want, we can feel things that we want, but it's really about how do we connect with it and make it form. So three principles that I keep referring to, but still haven't really mentioned until right this second. The first one is this, conscious thinking. 
It is so important for us to continually think about what we want because as we think about something, it creates energy that comes out and is stored here in our auric field. This is extremely important in creating your reality. Thoughts are very important. Most of us already know that, but we don't practice it necessarily. Number one rule, thoughts, your thinking, your intention. What is it that you are putting in your space? The second thing is energetic disposition. This is one of the most important things when you're thinking about creating your reality. What is it that you think? How do you feel? What do you know? Right? Because our energetic essence, our spiritual essence, our disposition creates our reality. If we are happy people, if we are connected people, we become such. So our energetic disposition, are you walking around in the world happy? Are you walking around in the world connected to source, God, the universe? Or are you walking around lonely, sad? It's important to evaluate this within yourself because if you're thinking it and you're putting it out here, you want to live it. You want to know it. And that is the most important rule really primarily. The third one is this, earth action, earth action. You must be doing the things. You have to do the things or they're not going to happen. So let me give an example. Let's say that you want to buy a car. First you think it, you say, oh, my intention is to get a car. Then you know it, you feel it. You have the energetic disposition that you're going to be driving in this beautiful, beautiful car down the street, waving your friends in leather seats and saying, yes, I'm gonna turn my radio just a wee bit louder, okay? Third, you've got to get the monies. You've gotta go and you've gotta get a job, you've gotta get a pay raise, you've gotta do the things to go buy the car. You also have to go to the car lot right? Or get online and order it. You have to have earth action, thinking, disposition, and action. These are the three things that you absolutely have to have when you're developing and strengthening your flow for your reality. You have to have these things. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to breathe. We're going to reconnect to that essence, which is number two rule and absolutely the most important. You have to have the energetic disposition and feeling within yourself. It has to be there. It really just does. Now, sometimes we do this without thinking about it, and that's okay. But for today, we want to think about it. We want to connect with it because we want it to be stronger. So thinking, disposition, and action. So we're going to breathe. We're going to connect in thinking. We're going to feel that disposition. We're going to focus on what we can do. We're going to bring these three together. We're going to create a very strong flow for us to move forward into our reality the way we want. We're shaping our life the way we want. You can do this, I can do this. We're gonna see evidence of this as this building starts to shift around, okay? And develop into something beautiful for all of you and for me, I'm excited about it. Okay, so we're gonna breathe in through our nose, holding in our lungs, exhaling out through our mouth. Now this is the part where I recommend if you want to play some light music in the background, make sure that you're comfortable. Shoes off are better than shoes on. And I recommend that you use the pressure points in your hands. So fingertips have pressure points. It's always better to uh, really make contact this way. Of course, many people do this and that's absolutely fine as well. But just get yourself in a very good position and really turn the lights off if you need to, close the door, put the dog in the laundry room, turn on some light music if you need. Okay, let's begin. So breathe in through your nose, holding in your lungs, exhaling out through your mouth. Let's just take some deep breaths together. And as we continue to breathe in through our nose, holding in our lungs, exhaling out through our mouth, we're releasing all the thoughts in our head. So if something comes in, 
We're not really paying attention to it. We're just focusing on our breath moving through our body. If the thoughts are starting to kind of take over our thinking, what we might want to do is focus on a candle flame, something that we uh, find soothing, so that if a thought comes in, it kind of just goes in the background. We continue to breathe in through our nose, holding in our lungs, exhaling out through our mouth, and we're letting go of all the stress so we're not thinking about anything that happened before this moment, and we're not thinking about anything that will happen after. Instead, we're super focused just on now, just on our breathing. In through the nose, holding in the lungs, exhaling out through the mouth. And as we breathe, we're thinking about what we wanna think, what we wanna feel, and how we want to guide our energy for our reality. We connect with what we thought about previously. Breathing, feeling that energetic essence, that spiritual flow that's in and around us. We're thinking about what's important to us. When we wake up in the morning each day, what is it we want to be excited about? What do we want to have gratitude for? How do we want to feel that day? We're connecting with all of those thoughts, all of those feelings, and with that deeper, greater essence that's within us. Breathing in through our nose, holding in our lungs, and exhaling out through our mouth. And as we connect to that, we visualize a beautiful green, a green light coming into the top of our heads we breathe, we focus this green light, it comes in through the top of our head, straight through our body to our chest. We see it moving in a beautiful flow and with such grace. That flow then creates a 90 degree angle and moves out straight in front of us. In through the top of our head, all the way to our chest and then straight out in front of us. So we are connecting with our essence, our thoughts. We're trying to see some earth action and we're guiding this beautiful energy of love through and out of us so that all of our energy creates a reality for us. So let's just take some breaths, connect with that beautiful essence and guide this beautiful green light in and out of us. Let's do that together. You want to keep thinking. You want to guide this flow. If you get distracted, just come back to your center. What is it that you want for you? How do you want to feel when you wake up in the morning? What thoughts can you create around it? What actions can you do to bring it to reality? Continue to breathe in through your nose, holding in your lungs and exhaling out through your mouth.
invite you all to begin to come back when you're ready. Let's take another deep breath. Let's take seven deep breaths. Okay, and let's come back to this space and time. I'm hoping that that was beautiful connection for everyone and that you were able to really feel that essence moving through and knowing that you can shape it with your thoughts and also with your action. My hope is that you were not only able to connect with it, but that you were able to shift your mindset around it some. And also that you got some very interesting and divine ideas on how to make it your reality with your earth action. A couple things that you might have experienced during that meditation could be seeing colors moving behind your eyelids. That's the energy flowing. That's your God essence or universal flow. You're being able, you are being able to tap into that, to see that, to feel that. Some of the things that you might have been able to experience during that meditation is seeing energy colors behind your eyes. This is the universal essence that's always around us and supporting us all the time. When we slow our thinking in our mind, our breath work, we're able to really connect with it in a beautiful way. The other thing that you could have seen are animal symbols, birds, deer, turtles, these things are very important in living on earth as we are part of the earth essence. This is earth talking to you. When you see animals in your meditation, it's earth. The other thing that you could have seen or experienced was some wisdom. That is maybe you had something divinely drop into your vision or your mind or your knowing about you, about where you wanna go. I hope that you did have these experiences. And if you didn't, don't worry. Sometimes they happen after our meditation, maybe a day even, maybe a week even later. So don't worry if it didn't happen right now, it will happen for you. And the more that you repeat this activity, the better you will get at understanding and connecting with your essence. The other thing too that I recommend is that you take this practice and incorporate it into your daily routine. That is, you're thinking positively throughout the day. You're actually feeling that essence run through you out the day. And you are also connecting with earth action throughout the day. It's very important to have this continual pattern that you're making for yourself. I oftentimes recommend that you write an affirmation, something like this. I affirm, I fully believe that I will have my car in a year I know that I'm going to get a beautiful new job that I absolutely love. Thank you. I have gratitude for this. Just writing that down on a piece of paper and sticking it on your mirror and reading it every morning creates beautiful energy for you. You have the ability to be anything you want and do the things you want. Seize it. That's what I'm recommending for you. Thank you for joining me in this beautiful building on this very cold day. It has been a absolute pleasure sharing space with you. And I look forward to having you back for meditation number two next week.